Hi there, welcome to Everyday Swift. Here we are and we will be discussing tips, tricks and much more about Swift and everything related. So before further ado, let's get started. Today's video, I'm going to start with a very simple question. Where the heck is did finishing launching with options? Yes, that's a most common question when people are started digging more into a Swift UI app. They ask themselves, hey, my app is get, going to get started by the struct and this is the content view which is going to be my first view. But where the heck is did finishing launching with options? Now, we are not talking about just having any sort of a plain app we are talking about some sort of you know production app that you want to write right so you will be using some sort of libraries so and all those libraries are still very high very tightly bound to swift ui sorry uh, ui kit and they have their injection into the app or the initiation into the app in did finish launching with options so we are going to create to simulate that we will need a little bit of crossover to the Swift UI. So first of all, in that we need a class app delegate, which would be conforming to NS object and UI application delegate. Yes. And now Having said that, the next thing that we actually need is having the function that is application, application, and did finish launching with options. It is right here. And this is where the libraries in it code would go so let's say if you have a firebase so you will go give basically call a firebase configure here and of course it has written true and this is how you will any initiate or any any of the third party library that you want to want to use would be needing here and correcting this type over here and that should return true and now this is a class or objective c which is like ns object now how the heck i'll get this one get introduced in the swift ui app so here what we need to do is we need to create a delegate adapter here so we will be calling ui application delegate adapter and if you read it it clearly says a property wrapper that is used in app to provide a delegate from ui kit this is exactly what we need here and we will do app delegate dot self here and then when I call var same old trusty delegate this is all we need to get and yes i made a spelling mistake here okay so now this is all good so this is what you need to get anything like old school need to get injected in a swift ui thanks for watching and let me know how you like this tip and if you want to watch something specific or you want to share some of your tip tips that you have used in your day-to-day -day, every day's swift please do let me know